Well, hello there everybody and welcome back to my devlog series. As you can see, the first thing I did this week was implement the title screen in Unity. So here you can see I have the three buttons, play, settings, credits. Um, I also have the version number down here, uh, just because that's a cool thing to do. <laughs> um, and then you can see when we press play, we actually go into the first scene. So it's all set up, it's all working. Um, I will point out that settings and credits don't do anything, um, except make Unity yell at me. <laughs> um, but that's okay. So I think I'm going to implement those uh, buttons in probably a future version, probably not the first version. Uh, maybe I'll do like a small credits uh, section just to give myself a shout out. But <laughs> for the most part, this is all I'm going to do for the first uh, the first version. Okay, I actually did go ahead and implement a basic credit scene. So let's take a look at that now. Again, it's super duper basic. It's just a placeholder. Um, just to, you know, throw down some links. I have a link to go to YouTube. If I pull over Chrome, you can see it loads up my YouTube page. Subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> and you can see if I click on Patreon, it'll do the same for Patreon. Join my Patreon if you haven't. Um, but that's about it. There's a button to return to the title screen and then you can go into the game from there. But that's all I have for the credit scene and that's probably all I'll have for a good while. Okay, and I also realized that there was no button on the uh, actual play screen to get back to the title screen. So I added one of those up here. So it's just, again, a very basic button that says return to title screen and it goes back and then you can... Uh, go back. It doesn't save the player's position or anything. I don't have saving implemented. Um, so you'll see, regardless of where I go, he'll, he'll always be, um, he'll always start at the beginning. Um, like that. I also don't know if I've shown this off, but if I hold shift, I can go super fast. And that's basically just for testing. Um, I had to test if there were, um, any bushes or trees, like, on top of the path. So to get around quicker, I implemented this, but that was a while ago. I just don't think I've shown it off until now. Um, so yeah. Okay, so you probably noticed a pretty big difference with the change that I just made. I actually added shadows to all of the scenery. Um, so I think that makes it a lot uh, more cohesive in a way. I think the, the scenery definitely looks like it belongs in the world a little bit more. I'll probably also add a shadow to uh, the character's uh, feet, like just a little circular drop shadow, kind of like I have with the bushes. Um, and then, I don't know, I might put some, like, maybe on some tiles. I think that might be a little harder to do, just because of their size and everything. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, I think that the shadows on the scenery definitely make it look a lot cleaner. Okay, so here's a time lapse of the wolf sprite that I made. I had a little bit of difficulties, and you'll see this towards the end of the time lapse, um, with dealing with the size of the wolf. At first, he was like pretty big, um, like bigger than the bear even, um, and I realized that, and then I made kind of a smaller version. So you'll see that towards the end. Okay, and as you just saw, I just finished up with the wolf. Um, like I said, I had some difficulties with the size again. <laughs> uh, I thought it was looking really good, and then I brought it into here, and I realized, oh, it's bigger than the bear, which is bigger than the human. So, yeah, the wolf was like nine feet tall, realistically. So, <laughs> I shrunk him down. He's now about the same size as the deer, which I think is much more accurate. Uh, looking back now, I should have used the deer as more of a reference. In my mind, I was still kind of using, like, the bear's proportions to make him. Um, and I think, like, the deer kind of looks like a baby deer, and the wolf now kind of looks like a baby wolf. Um, and the, you know, obviously the moose and the bear, they definitely look uh, a lot older. But this is basically going to be the uh, six animals I'm going to put in the starting area. 
Okay, and here is the very first beta version of Nature Snap. It's fully exported from Unity and everything. Um, so you look down here, in the bottom left we have version beta 1. Um, I added a button to exit the game because I found out if you play it in uh, full screen mode it's harder to exit the game. You can't just press the X button. Um, I also added a button up here to provide feedback which will just take you to a Google form. Um, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to distribute uh, this beta build, but I guess uh, look in the comments, or uh, rather look in the description for the video because I might just have a link down there. Um, but yeah, you can see we can play it. I can still walk around just like normal, uh, but we're in full screen now, which is cool. Um, again, the credit still works and all that, so everything's basically the same. One other thing I also did was added the animals into the game. Uh, so they're scattered around the first area, um, but I'm not gonna show them off here cause I don't want to kind of spoil it for the beta build. So if you want to kind of try and find the animals, kind of like a scavenger hunt, uh, then check the description below cause there will be a link to the beta build down there. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.